So the Chancellor says he's on the side of business. Is that how it feels to people within business, though? Five Lost Money and Work reporter Peter Ruddick asked the chief executive of the online retail delivery firm Hubu, Martin Bish, for his view. There, there's some good things in there, good, good things for, for, you know, for the average person who's not going to experience price hikes in their energy anytime soon. Great things for employees, uh, you know, being able to, to subsidise childcare is obviously a, a fabulous thing. But I guess my, the biggest takeaway and the biggest surprise, I suppose, is that they stuck with the, the hike in corporation tax. It's supposed to be a growth budget. You don't grow businesses by, by taxing them more. You don't make it possible for them to pay more and therefore get people back into work. You don't make it possible for them to expand. So um, I, think, I think it's a confused budget. They're giving with one hand and taking away with another. We've heard these 12 enterprise zones, Canary Wharf style places. Nothing south of the Midlands in the UK, so the southwest here not covered. Is that a concern? I'm not sure it makes sense for the British economy. It's a slightly outdated concept. So many businesses these days are being, being set up in businesses and employing people across across the country, people working from home or, or digital nomads traveling around as they work. Most of the businesses that we work uh, with employ people across the country rather than in particular zones. So I wonder if it's slightly outdated and of course it only aids particular areas of the country at the expense of others. There we go. Just a little bit of reaction that we were getting earlier in the program when our Money and Work reporter Peter Ruddick was talking to Martin Bish from the delivery firm Habu. Let's talk to Habu. Let's